Hello and welcome. This is Kara and it is day two of the five days of Easter and I wanted to show you really quick what we're making today. <laughs> we're going to make this cute little file folder book. Isn't that so cute? All right, stay tuned and we're going to make this together. Today the pages we're using are the mini file folders from my kit and this page from Julie's kit with the different little postcards and floral embellishments. Okay, so let's make our mini uh, file folder book. What I've done already is I have printed the pages. Instead of just being on regular paper, I printed them on cardstock. Now this isn't the heaviest of cardstocks. I think it's the one that I got from Michaels. So the weight isn't that heavy and I kind of ran out. So some of the cardstock has texture and others it does not. So I printed it out. I printed two of the mini file folder pages, <clears throat> excuse me. And then I printed one of Julie's pages. And I've also inked around my edges. And then the next thing I wanna do is decide which pages I'm going to kind of close so that they can become pockets and which pages I will leave open and then they can be kind of pages like this. So let's see, I think I'm gonna close this first page and I might want to Maybe change, maybe, or trim. I might trim some of this off since it's showing the back. And then I'm gonna tape or glue the bottom and then the side. Glue the bottom and then the side over here. Now you wouldn't necessarily have to do this um, if you wanted them all to kind of open up, but I think it'll be kind of fun to make them into pockets. All right, in this one I'm gonna put the thumb notch on the top. And then I'm gonna close this one. This one and I think I'm gonna have this one so that the pocket is right here and then for a few of them I folded them so the file folder was on the inside so these, I think I'm gonna leave open and then we could do something on the front. So I'm not gonna close these. So there's this one I'm gonna leave open and then I will go ahead and glue these and I'll be right back. All right, they are all um, glued. And then of course I went and ran my sewing machine around the edges. Some of them I did some zigzag. And so now we, we want, what we want to do is figure out the order that we want it to go in our little book. So let's see. Okay. So then our pages will be like this. And then the way we are going to bind our little file folder book is I'm gonna use, I've had this forever, it's fabric, um, like washi tape. I think I got it from the Dollar Tree. I have this one and then I have this black and white one. Tim Holtz just came out with his version of the linen tape. I know that Dina Wakely has just the white um, linen tape that you could also use. You could even ink that one up. That'd be really fun. You could also use uh, strips of fabric and then that would work. You could either sew them or glue them. Just, but this is super easy because it's already has adhesive. Next one, and the first page we're gonna add 
three of these pieces of tape, one in the top, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. So like this, and kind of measure, you know what, let's move this middle one up a little bit. More in the middle. Okay, so we want this as the cover. This might need to move down. We want the tape to not touch, so. There we go, just like that. So then oh, here is my first page with the three. Here's my second page with the two. And I'm gonna take the three tabs, the top, middle, and bottom, and I'm gonna fold them over like that. And I'm gonna leave these two like this, and they are gonna to attach to the next page. But this next page is going to need three tabs. So we're gonna do this again. We have the top. Oops, top on the top. And then the middle and the bottom. And then again, we can kind of line it up, make sure they're gonna work. And then this time we flip over these two, one, two and then this will have the three so then this one we need two i'm going to kind of measure again so right around here and right around here and then we can flip it and kind of take a look and that looks good so this one we flip over the three tabs so you just keep alternating. If you put three tabs on the, the, the page, then you flip over two tabs. If you are gonna flip over two tabs, then you need three tabs. And it looks like I need to cut more, so I'll be right back. Okay, so in this one, we're gonna add the three tabs. Fold it over, kind of take a look. See if we need to move one. And then we'll fold over the two tabs. And then the next one, we're gonna need to add, this one has three, so this one we add two. Fold over the three tabs, top, middle, bottom. All right, and then we flip it over and we're going to fold over the two tabs. And then on this one, I made sure that my pocket is on the outside. And then this is our last page. So all I do is I take this and I'm going to fold over the three tabs like that. And here is our little book so far. And then when we open it, it just flips like this. Oops, we got some sticky parts. And then our pockets here. And this one opens up. We have a pocket on the top. It's cute. So now we can just go in and decorate our little book. Isn't that cute? Look at the little binding. So cute. So cute. 
All right, let me get some things uh, for decorating. I'll be right back. Cute. So cute. So here's the cover. And we have a tag in the cover. And it flips, and then this one is it has a tag. And then we added the tabs and my <laughs> Easter eggs. And we have the bunny. And then I attached a tag on this one. There's one of Julie's bunnies. And then there's that little guy tucked in there. And then added that one. There's a tag. Oops, I guess we go over here. There's a tag on this side. And there's a little guy in there. And a tag in the back. So cute. Isn't that fun? Such a cute little book. All right, so this is day two <laughs> of the five days of Easter. It's super fun. I love this little tab book. All right, I hope you have a wonderfully crafty day, and I will see you on Friday for day, what is it, day three. All right, have a wonderfully crafty day. Bye-bye.